Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Actually, today I am feeling a little bit of cold, so that is the reason my voice will be a little bit of different. Okay. In the previous video, what we have discussed is about the dynamic components. This is the component, is component, and also keep alive. Also, we have seen, and also we have seen the usage of keep alive. Why we used to keep this alive? When we keep this alive. Now, when we keep alive, what will happen? We have discussed it, right? Now, in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to learn about the asynchronous component. Okay, if you try to see in the Vue.js website, if you try to go and if you see in the Vue.js website, click here for the 3.x documentation and go to the get, get started. And here we are learning about this provide inject this completed dynamic and async components. Yeah, dynamic components we have seen, component is component we have seen. Now, we will try to learn about the asynchronous component. What is this asynchronous component? Is for example, if you have a large application, okay. If you have large applications, so we need to divide this uh, the large application JS code into a small, uh, small, small chunks JS file, okay. So that means whenever the component is necessary, then only we need to load it from the server, okay. So the for that reason, we use this asynchronous component. For example, here, here if you try to see in the network, okay, in the in all, if you try to see, if I try to refresh this one. I am able to see that okay let's go to the js app.js is there so it is about 203 bytes oh sorry cache so let me refresh it again yeah now it is 111 kb okay this is the 11 kb 11 kb file now this one is a smaller file it's okay but in the large applications the file will be a little bit of bigger or well, not little bit of so much bigger it will be there in order to divide that file, js file into smaller smaller chunks we use the asynchronous component now in this app in this app.js so we will be having active hobbies component and also the inactive hobbies component right now in this page if you see only active hobbies component is only visible that means it is in the active state in active hobbies there is no need for us to load unnecessarily in the app.js why because at the time of rendering only active hobbies component if we have active uh, active hobby component then it is okay fine it is fine for us inactive hobbies component there is no need when we click on this inactive hobbies component then only we need this Act to uh, inactive to hobbies component. Then, then whenever it is necessary, we we load it from a separate JS file. Then it will be very easy for us. So let's try to see this one. How we can load that only needed uh, only needed uh, components. How to load it? Let's try to see in this video. Before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to here, as usual, what I say is please do support me, to subscribe to my channel so that I will posting more and more front end development code. Now here, if you try to see here. Hobbies, these are the two uh, active hobbies and inactive hobbies component, right? Now, you in order to load this one, so okay, what we can do is here I can write constant, okay, hobbies component, okay, same name. What I'll try to do here, we need to use the define async component, okay, it should be imported from the define async component here, and this one will take a method, okay, and we need to return import of. So wherever we are having that we need to import component slash active hobbies. Okay. And another one is the inactives. Not hobbies, right? Active hobbies. Sorry. Active hobbies. And here we, we will be using the same scenario. We can just copy and we, we can just paste it here. And what we need to do? Inactive. Okay. Inactive hobbies. Define a sync. And here I can write in active hobbies dot view don't forget to use this dot view okay dot view so i have used this uh, asynchronously i loaded this one we need to import this define async component from the top and here what i will try to do i will be using this active hobbies in an active hobbies if i go here and if i try to refresh this page okay now see if you are able to see if you if you are able to see the app.js has been decreased to 83.9 kb if you are if you see here here previously it was triple eight the sorry triple one now it is decreased now here new one came that is one dot js okay if you see here one dot js came if i click here inactive and here two dot js came you understand okay so that means we are getting two one dot js and two dot js these these are nothing but the components active hobbies and the inactive hobbies okay so this is how we can load the what I can say they are load the components dynamically, okay, synchronously. Whenever we need only we can load. And now if I click go to act hobbies, it will not the JS will not load it again. Why? Because already one dot JS. 
is already came so that is the reason it is not it is not loading to end okay so one dot js two dot js for you for uh, for uh, listening this one it will be tough uh, awkward it will be so now we can write something like here before sorry and here if we write like this okay webpack webpack chunk name is something like active hobbies we can also define the name for that one dot js instead of one dot js two dot js we can also define the name so i can write the same thing so these are called as magic comments actually and here we can write it in active hobbies so now if you try to see the output here if you try to see the output here if you see active hobbies dot js can see why because the active hobbies component is there in the active so that is the reason we got this now if i click here we got the inactive hobbies dot js okay in this way, we can change the name of the asynchronously loaded components also using this magic comments webpack chunk name active hobbies and webpack chunk name inactive hobbies. So, this is where we can use you can load the components asynchronously. We try to see the documentation here asynchronous components. So, here this is the global component. If you see here, this is the global component. So, we can write like this or otherwise we can use like this also. Okay. Okay. We back to our later, we can uh, syntax is changed to like this also definition component and import like this and the local name is so whatever i have did locally so i have created one variable in uh, and that variable i am using it here if you want you can use directly okay so this is this is about the asynchronous component okay so this is all about the asynchronous component so we have learned about the dynamic components and also the asynchronous components so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you